Waiting to learn what's next this morning, 200 tenants are still out of their homes following a fire at a senior apartment complex. We tried to get answers about when they would be allowed back. This is video of a Jacksonville townhouse apartment manager taking off while our reporters asking questions. Action News Jack's Beth Russo is live this morning. And Beth, records show a required inspection of that complex simply did not happen. We did some digging and found that the Section 8 housing complex was due for inspection this year, but there's no record that that inspection was even scheduled to happen. So now 115 people are in a shelter waiting to learn where they're going from here. I woke up to the fireman coming in my room telling, telling me I had to get out of there because of smoke. Debbie Taylor tells me once outside her Jacksonville townhouse apartment, she saw these flames erupting from an eighth floor window. Prior to the fire we told you about Monday, this low income apartment building for the elderly was supposed to be inspected by HUD, which would have included a search for fire safety deficiencies. We found the building's most recent HUD inspection from February 2014. Because of the building's score, it only has to be inspected every three years, but there's no record that the required inspection happened or was even scheduled. Did you replace the fire pump? We tried to confront the management company's director about the inspection and fire pump we learned was also supposed to be replaced. She dodged our questions. Now Taylor and her fellow tenants are left at this shelter, not knowing what's next. I don't know where I'm going. I'm homeless now. I don't have nowhere to go. Now, we're continuing to push for answers about these issues with Jacksonville townhouse apartments. In the meantime, there are ways that you can help the people who are displaced. I'll tell you what you can do coming up on Action News Jacks at 630. For now, we're live this morning. Beth Russo, CBS 47, Fox 30. Now to the south side of Duval County, power has been restored to common areas and almost every floor at the Jacksonville townhouse apartments. Remember that fire broke out two days ago, leaving more than 250 people homeless. We're told the building manager hopes to get everybody back inside today or tomorrow. For now, they're staying at Faith United Methodist Church. Nick's following the story. And Vic, we're getting, so, or Nick, rather, we're getting some video from inside the building as these people were being rescued for, by firefighters. Yeah, and I mean, the video it is so compelling. And, and also, these folks just want to get back home. You know, we're, we're able to hear the alarm ring in this video. Um, you can see firefighters make their way down these smoky, wet hallways. We're also getting a look at the moment many people and animals were rescued by JFRD. <laughs> This video was put together by Jacksonville Fire and Rescue. Five people were taken to the hospital. None appeared to be critically hurt. A firefighter was also injured, but he's expected to be okay. In the meantime, people who live here, they have not been able to go back home yet. They tell us, though, they're really thankful for the food, the clothing, the, the donations, but they just wish they had a, some more answers from the management. It's been really nerve-wracking, and it's just been hard I got my dog and he's in a kennel cage and I've never had him in that before and he's flipping out my fiance is all worried about me my dad's all worried about me everybody's worried about that I'm gonna be okay and I've been homeless before and it brings back bad memories and I've been crying I've been stressed my anxiety is like way up here sky 4 video shows some of the damage to the outside of the building neighbors tell us they really hope to be back in their homes before Christmas. Again, some could get back in there today. Now, since the Monday fire, the I-Team has requested inspection reports for more than 30 other senior living facilities in Duval County. You can see all the locations here on this map. The I-Team will be combing through the reports once they are released to us, looking to see if they are up to code and what steps are being taken to fix any issues. If you want to stay updated, go to this story on the homepage of news4jacks.com, scroll to the bottom of the page like you see we're doing there, and click get email alerts. That way you can get notified if anything changes. Bruce and Trace amounts of cancer-causing asbestos, a mineral fiber typically found in older buildings, have been discovered inside Jacksonville townhouse apartments. More than 250 tenants, many of them elderly, were forced to flee from a fire that broke out around 3 o'clock Monday morning. The property manager, Cambridge Management, tells News for Jacks it has a licensed asbestos cleanup company and is working to get residents back in their homes as soon as possible. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell joins us live from outside the apartment building with what else management is telling us. Elizabeth. 
We aren't getting many answers at all from management, and neither are residents. And that's what many of them tell me is so frustrating about all of this. It's been four days since the fire, and the reason that we are so far from the building, which you see behind me, is because we are not allowed on property. Earlier today at the shelter, I tried approaching two managers, and I was ignored. Sitting and waiting. That's all many of these people have been able to do since Monday. This is video shot today inside the shelter where just some of the Jacksonville townhouse apartment residents have been staying. Husband and wife, Teddy and Angela Rudd, are thankful to stay with family right now, but came to the shelter today in hopes of speaking with Cambridge management. What has been the most frustrating part of this for you? Well, Fr big frustration is not having any real information about what's going on that Cambridge seemed like it's just dragging its heels and I don't know whether where they're trying to bury information. Cambridge management told us this afternoon that the timeline for residents to return remains in flux. So we have proactively decided to move all residents still in the shelter to local hotel accommodations. Just not being able to have a normal life and, and know when when things are going to get back to normal. Because people keep saying and news keep going around that it's 24 hours we get back, then it's 48 hours and 72 hours, then who knows? Returning was already a concern for many. Learning today there's traces of asbestos is even more worrisome, as many of these residents have medical conditions like asthma and heart problems. Cambridge management says the cleanup process will continue aggressively until we are completely satisfied our residents will be safe and comfortable upon return to their homes. Asbestos being inside this complex is very concerning because it can easily become airborne and then be inhaled. Over time, it can cause health issues, even some as serious as cancer. We're going to continue asking questions and stay on top of this. And of course, any information that we learn, we will pass along on air and on newsforjax.com. Reporting live this evening, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4. Right now, dozens of tenants of the Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments fire are staying in hotels after leaving the Red Cross shelter. This is video of them as they arrive to one of the hotels provided for them. We don't know for how long. We don't know if we're going back home ever. The tenants say they're happy for the accommodations, but still concerned about the unknown. Action News Jack's Amber Kriska spoke to the tenants earlier this evening, and they tell her they're happy to sleep on a mattress and have a hot shower. Tonight, dozens packed into buses. Okay, we're moving into that bus. Heading to hotels. For the first time tonight, I'm going to take a hot shower. It's been a long week for George Preto and nearly 200 others who lost their homes in a fire Monday morning at the Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments just days before Christmas. And all the people need our prayers and, and everything. This is not a very good Christmas for any of us. The shelter was originally scheduled to close today, but things changed, and Red Cross says it will stay open on an as-needed basis and will be evaluated each day. We don't know for how long. We don't know if we're going back home ever. While many now have moved to hotels, Prito says he's still unsure about what will happen next. Know what's going to happen. That's what. That's the worst of it. But tonight, many are now in a more comfortable place. Now you'll be in a nice, warm uh, bed. Yeah, and a, and a nice warm bath. I'm going to enjoy it for one whole hour. <laughs> Reporting Amber Kriska, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. Well, it may take even longer for tenants of the Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments to get back home. Cleanup crews discovered asbestos in the high-rise days after it caught fire. Action News, Jax first alerted you to that discovery on our mobile app. This morning, nearly 100 people are waking up in hotels instead of a shelter after the apartment fire earlier this week left them without a place to stay. That's right. Those rooms were paid for by apartment management, but tenants we spoke with tell us they aren't sure just how long they'll be able to stay in those rooms or what comes next as the fire investigation continues. Actually, Jax has also uncovered several hazards linked to the apartment management's properties. Coming up on Action News Jax this morning at 6:30, the dangerous risk inside the Jacksonville townhouse. Oh, thank you, Derek. It's been a long week for the nearly 200 mm -hmm. tenants forced out of their homes after the Jacksonville townhouse apartment fire. This morning, many of them are waking up in a hotel for the first time since leaving a shelter. As Action News Jack's Christy Turner explains, many tenants aren't sure when they'll be able to go back home. 
They say they are grateful to have a comfortable place to stay. This is one of two hotels provided for them. Many say they were just looking forward to taking a hot shower. The Red Cross tells me management of the high rise will be covering their stay here at the hotel. We've learned tenants will not be able to return home for some time. Cleanup crews found asbestos in the high rise days after it caught fire. Tenants say they are worried about what will happen next. We don't know for how long. We don't know if we're going back home ever. When we asked evacuees how long they will be staying here, they said management has not told them anything. Reporting on the South Side, Christy Turner, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. And we have continuing coverage on the fallout since the high rise fire. Uh, we've got some video of that fire, plus the firefighters' efforts to get people out of the high rise. Our full investigation on actionnewsjax.com. Bill. Just days after a high-rise fire put 200 people out of their homes in Jacksonville, we're learning asbestos has been discovered in that building. Action News Jax also found out the management company did not tell its displaced tenants about it. Tell me what you just found out in this meeting. That there was some damage to the building. They didn't say what damage it was, what caused it, but parts of the building are not safe to be moved into now. So they didn't tell you that asbestos was found? No. What goes through your mind when you hear that? You can die from that. We also uncovered failed inspections at some of the management company's other Jacksonville apartments. Action News Jack's Christy Turney joined us live this morning. And Christy, aside from the asbestos, the families who were sent to shelters, they're now staying in hotels. Yeah, it's been a tough week for these tenants who were forced out of their homes, and many of them lost everything in that fire. Now they are staying in hotels for the time being. They say they are worried about what is next. This is not a very good Christmas for any of us. George Preto is one of nearly 200 tenants of the Jacksonville townhouse apartments who were displaced just days before Christmas after an early morning fire. This morning, many of them are in a more comfortable place. This is video as tenants arrive to one of the hotels being provided for them. The first time tonight, I'm going to take a hot shower. Preto says they are grateful, but he is still concerned about the unknown. We don't know for how long. We don't know if we're going back home ever. It could take even longer for tenants to return home. Cleanup crews discovered asbestos in the high rise days after it caught fire. We don't know what's going to happen. That's what that's the worst of it. We don't know what's going to happen. What we're going for? How long? A lot of questions. Red Cross says management of the high rise will be paying for the hotels for those tenants. It's unclear how long they will be staying there for. Reporting live this morning, Christy Turner, Fox 30 Action News, Jax. All right, thanks, Christy. And we have continuing coverage on the fallout since the high rise fire. To see the video of the fire, the firefighters' efforts to get people out, and our full investigation, just go to actionnewsjax.com or get our mobile app. New at 7.30, crime. We first introduced you to double amputee Pam Sands on Wednesday. She was one of the 200 tenants forced from her home when the Jacksonville townhouse apartments caught fire Monday. Today, she tells Action News Jack she woke up to news she was being kicked out of the hotel where she was being put up. So we send Action News Jack's Russell Colburn down there, and he joins us now at noon. And Russell, less than an hour after you got involved, Sands has a another place to stay. And she's just one of the horror stories we've heard from tenants here at the Jacksonville townhouse apartments. And some of the residents right now remain in shelters and hotels across Jacksonville. And I want to zoom you on down because the fire crew did just arrive here. We're working to check what they're doing back here. But obviously we had the fire here Monday and we've had investigators in and out since. So we'll check on that for you. But here's a look at the fire that broke out Monday, injuring six people. In the days since, inspectors have been going through and seeing if any units are safe for people to return. But an Action News Jack's investigation told you Thursday that traces of asbestos were found here. We also uncovered there is no documentation the required fire watch has been happening. But back to Pam Sands for a moment. As a double amputee, getting around is no easy task. She says she doesn't even have her wheelchair with her. It's still in the unit. She's using one provided by the Red Cross. So she called on us when she says the Super 8 down the road informed her that the property management company, Cambridge Management, had not paid for another night in the hotel. She panicked, thinking they were going to allow her to be out on the street. How do you feel you've been treated since this fire? <clears throat> totally unfair victimized 
by the system that's supposed to run HUD and by Cambridge Properties that's uh, managing the building. I actually just heard back from Cambridge Management in an email, in a statement. They basically called Sands a liar, saying that is not accurate, and adding this statement, our top priority is the comfort and safety of our residents as we continue to work diligently to get them back into their homes as soon as possible. Right now, Sands and some other tenants are being put up in the extended stay America. We'll keep checking to make sure they're doing okay. Reporting live, Russell Colburn, CBS 47 Action News, Jax. Breaking news, HUD now confirms it has not inspected the Jacksonville townhouse apartments since early 2014. It's an update to an Action News Jax investigation. Earlier this week, Jenna Bourne revealed the building was due for an inspection earlier this year, but there was no documentation that that, that actually happened. Now she has confirmed just minutes ago no inspection was ever done. HUD says it's now in the process of scheduling one. It could be an entire year before hundreds of tenants are able to move back into their apartments following a fire and the discovery of asbestos. That's what a licensed contractor tells Action News Jax, depending on how much asbestos they find inside. Today, Action News Jax also learned HUD had not inspected the Jacksonville townhouse apartments since early 2014, despite being due for one in 2017. Tenants say they've been left in the dark throughout the entire process. They not once have lifted a finger to help me. I have been shuffled from this is like third place, like I said now. Now I'm being told to leave here. Action News Jax's live team coverage on the options the displaced tenants have, as well as building issues. We begin with Action News Jax investigator Jenna Bourne, who's breaking down what the asbestos could mean for people's health. The last of those displaced tenants left this shelter here at this nearby church a few hours ago. A contractor who's licensed in asbestos abatement tells me depending on how widespread the problem is, it could be nearly a year before people are able to move back into Jacksonville townhouse apartments. They're not going to let us in the building until the asbestos has been cleared out. And that's a tedious process. Pam Sands and about 200 other displaced residents have a lot of questions about what the discovery of asbestos in their building means for their health and their home. It's a product that creates a contamination within your lung linings. Jim Kakuza owns Atlas Inspections and Construction Consulting. He tells me the presence of asbestos in your home does not necessarily mean you're going to get sick. It's when that asbestos is disturbed, for example, during a fire, that it becomes a hazard. Asbestos isn't dangerous to you until the fine fibers that it's actually made of comes airborne. A licensed asbestos abatement contractor told me, depending on the scope of the asbestos problem, it could cost management hundreds of thousands of dollars and take more than a year to clean up. Kakuza tells me when it comes to residents' health, the most important thing is not to panic. I think that everybody just needs to be positive and to know uh, that they're not in any kind of immediate risk. My Action News Jax investigation confirmed that HUD had not inspected the apartment building in nearly four years. Today, HUD confirmed for me why that inspection that was required this year never happened. I'm working on that side of the story for you now. I'll have that all new for you at 6. Reporting live in Englewood, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Some of those displaced tenants called Action News Jax today to say they were being kicked out of the hotel where they were being put up. Action News Jax, Russell Colburn, continues our team coverage, and today he went to the apartment building for answers. Five days now since the fire here at Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments, and the tenants here have been in and out of hotels and shelters. They say they're still getting the runaround. Nobody's offered help us. For Pam Sands, a double amputee, getting around isn't easy. But since this fire Monday, she and other tenants have been moved around from a shelter to hotels. What's it like to be bounced around like this? It's crazy. Friday, Sands told Action News Jax the Super 8, where the property manager, Cambridge Management, was putting her up, hadn't been paid for her to stay another night. Panic, she was going to end up on the street. She called us. How do you feel you've been treated since this fire? <laughs> totally unfair victimized. But less than an hour after Action News Jack 
cops got involved, Cambridge told her she could head to the extended stay America. When we brought Sands' concerns to Cambridge, they fired back with a statement that reads in part, it is inaccurate to say that the resident is being asked to leave because her hotel room was only one night. They didn't elaborate and would go on to mention the extended stay, saying their top priority is the comfort and safety of their residents. I look at it as like it's on a need-to-know basis, and when corporations get together and communicate, we're the lower people at the bottom or the, the last ones to know. Action News Jacks will be following up to make sure every tenant is taken care of. The tenants with whom I've spoke say they still have no idea when they'll be allowed to come back here, even just to check on their property. In Spring Park, Russell Colburn, CBS 47 Action News Jax. To see a photo gallery of the damage to the building and ways you can help those displaced tenants, download the Action News Jax mobile. Honey, thank you. New at 5, we've learned there's no timeline for when people will return to an apartment complex that went up in flames this week. More than 100 people have been forced from the Jacksonville Town Home Apartments. That's just off of Phillips Highway. People inside the building tell us the sprinkler system worked, but the fire alarms never sounded. HUD tells First Coast News that an inspection had not happened over the past three years because of a planned renovation that was scheduled for next month. Frustration is building as nearly 200 people displaced by this fire prepare to spend another night away from home. Many of them say they're being kept in the dark about what's happening. I, I look at it as like it's on a need-to-know basis, and when corporations get together and communicate, we're the lower people at the bottom or the, the last ones to know. Today, an Action News Jax investigation confirmed HUD has not inspected Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments in nearly four years. We broke that news on the Action News Jax mobile app just after noon. Action News Jax investigator Jenna Bourne also broke the news on Twitter. And Jenna, you pushed HUD for answers after finding no documentation of a recent inspection. And today, HUD confirmed the inspection did not happen. HUD tells me that inspection was scheduled to happen months before Monday morning's fire forced many tenants to take shelter here at this nearby church for four nights. Today I got answers from HUD about why that inspection was postponed. The apartment has asbestos on it. The air quality test has, fa has failed. They were supposed to have that pump fixed on October 24th. They failed to do that. They, from what I understand, they failed to have a 24-hour uh, watch. It's been letdown after letdown for the 200 people displaced by this fire at Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments. And now Action News Jax has uncovered that HUD has not inspected the building since February 2014. The building was due for inspection this year, but HUD tells me inspectors decided to postpone it because management planned to renovate the building. Inspectors felt it would be more effective to inspect after renovation. I think that they're owed uh, answers. On Thursday, our Action News Jax investigation uncovered that asbestos was discovered in the building during fire cleanup. Atlas Inspections and Construction Consulting owner Jim Kakuza tells me asbestos only becomes a health hazard when it's airborne. Under fire, these fibers are now becoming part of the smoke. A licensed asbestos abatement contractor tells me depending on the scope of the asbestos problem, it could cost management hundreds of thousands of dollars and take more than a year to clean up. The management company would not answer my questions about how widespread the asbestos problem is in that building. But a spokesperson tells me she's hopeful people will be able to move back in within a few weeks. Reporting live in Englewood, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. The fire marshal tells Action News, Jax, he's still investigating whether all of the fire alarms in the building went off during that fire. He tells us that he went back to the apartment today, but no one from management was there to answer. It could be more than a year before a Jacksonville apartment complex is safe to live in again. It will be at least weeks. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Action News Jax told you when crews found asbestos in the building days after a fire displaced nearly 200 tenants. Today, we talked to an expert about the potential dangers of asbestos. Asbestos isn't dangerous to you until the fine fibers that it's actually made of comes airborne. The complex is Section 8 housing for seniors, and today an Action News Jax investigation confirmed that HUD was scheduled to inspect the complex, but HUD says it was postponed because management planned to do renovations. Today, some of the displaced tenants called Action News Jax to say they were being kicked out of the hotel where they were being put up. Action News Jax Russell Colburn went to that apartment building for answers.
nobody's offered to help us. For Pam Sands, a double amputee, getting around isn't easy. But since this fire Monday, she and other tenants have been moved around from a shelter to hotels. What's it like to be bounced around like this? It's crazy. Friday, Sands told Action News Jack's the Super 8, where the property manager, Cambridge Management, was putting her up, hadn't been paid for her to stay another night. Panic, she was going to end up on the street. She called us. How do you feel you've been treated since this fire? <laughs> totally unfair victimized. But less than an hour after Action News Jax got involved, Cambridge told her she could head to the extended stay America. When we brought Sands' concerns to Cambridge, they fired back with a statement that reads in part, it is inaccurate to say that the resident is being asked to leave because her hotel room was only one night. They didn't elaborate and would go on to mention the extended stay, saying their top priority is the comfort and safety of their residents. This is the Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments here on Phillips Highway. Tenants tell me they still have no idea when they'll be back inside. I look at it as like it's on a need-to-know basis, and when corporations get together and communicate, we're the lower people at the bottom or the, the last ones to know. Action News Jax will be following up to make sure every tenant is taken care of. In Spring Park, Russell Colburn, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Still no answers tonight about when 200 people can return to their homes after an apartment fire. We first introduced you to Pam Sands Wednesday. The double UT was one of the tenants forced from her home when the Jacksonville townhouse apartments caught fire Monday. Friday, she told Action News Jack she woke up to news she and other tenants were being kicked out of the Super 8 motel where they were being put up. She said the property management company, Cambridge Management, had not paid for another night. That's when she called us. They not once have lifted a finger to help me. The only help we got was from Jacksonville Fire and Rescue. They got me out of the building, and then I had been shuffled from, this is like third place, like I said now. Now I'm being told to leave here. Less than an hour after Action News Jax got involved, Cambridge told her she could head to the extended stay America. When we brought Sands' concerns to Cambridge, they sent us a statement that reads in part, quote, it is inaccurate to say that the resident is being asked to leave because her hotel room was only one night. They said they were moving her to a place with more appropriate facilities for a longer term stay. Action News Jax dug into safety inspections records in 12 minutes what we found out when we demanded answers from the federal agency that was supposed to make sure the building was safe. New details now in an I-Team investigation on the Jacksonville townhouse apartments that caught fire early Monday morning. News for Jax has learned the last HUD inspection of the complex was done in February 2014. Then the complex scored a 3 out of 100, well above the passing score of 60. It's a, because of that score, the HUD says the apartments were able to go three years without an inspection, but that means that one should have happened in February of this year. Also today, Sky 4 captured video showing people in white suits with masks going in and out of the apartments. The cleanup continued at the complex one day after we learned asbestos was found inside the building. Today, Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell asked the fire union about the dangers of the material, but found it's uncommon for people to be exposed. The asbestos kind of has to be aerosolized to, 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 to get that bad exposure. So uh, until the point where they started either tearing up a floor or wherever, I'm not sure where the asbestos was in the building. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, there was only really one room that was affected by the fire. Other than that, there, there was really nothing different other than the smoke in the building. So to, you know, for them to, uh, to have found asbestos in that building is not unusual. A HUD spokesperson told us it's not clear why an inspection didn't happen this year, but it may have been because the owner was getting ready to begin renovations. Cambridge Management, which owns the complex, is now providing residents with hotel rooms until they can return home. New information now on us now. An Action News Jax investigation confirmed today that HUD has not inspected Jacksonville townhouse apartments in nearly four years. The Section 8 housing for seniors caught fire Monday morning, displacing about 200 people. Earlier this week, HUD said there was no documentation of an inspection that was required sometime this year. Action News Jax investigator Jenna Bourne pushed for answers and found out that inspection did not happen. 
HUD TELLS ME THAT INSPECTION WAS SCHEDULED MONTHS BEFORE MONDAY MORNING'S FIRE FORCED MANY TENANTS TO SPEND FOUR NIGHTS AT THIS SHELTER AT A NEARBY CHURCH. TODAY I GOT ANSWERS FROM HUD ABOUT WHY THAT INSPECTION WAS POSTPONED. THE APARTMENT HAS ASBESTOS ON IT. THE AIR QUALITY TEST is th HAS FAILED. THEY WERE SUPPOSED TO HAVE THAT PUMP FIXED ON OCTOBER 24TH. THEY FAILED TO DO THAT. They, FROM WHAT I UNDERSTAND, THEY FAILED TO HAVE A 24-HOUR uh, WATCH. It's been letdown after letdown for the 200 people displaced by this fire at Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments. And now Action News Jax has uncovered that HUD has not inspected the building since February 2014. The building was due for inspection this year, but HUD tells me inspectors decided to postpone it because management planned to renovate the building. Inspectors felt it would be more effective to inspect after renovation. And I think that they're owed uh, answers. On Thursday, our Action News Jax investigation uncovered that asbestos was discovered in the building during fire cleanup. Atlas Inspections and Construction Consulting owner Jim Kakuza tells me asbestos only becomes a health hazard when it's airborne. Under fire, these fibers are now becoming part of the smoke. A licensed asbestos abatement contractor tells me depending on the scope of the asbestos problem, it could cost management hundreds of thousands of dollars and take more than a year to clean up. The management company would not answer my questions about how widespread the asbestos problem is in the building, but a spokesperson tells me she's hopeful people will be able to move back in within a few weeks. Reporting in Englewood, Jenna Bourne, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. The fire marshal tells Action News, Jax, he's still investigating whether all of the fire alarms in the building went off during the fire. He tells us he went back to the apartment today, but no one from the management company was there to answer his question. An Action News Jax investigation confirmed today that HUD has not inspected Jacksonville townhouse apartments in nearly four years. The Section 8 housing for seniors caught fire Monday morning, displacing about 200 people. Action News Jax investigator Jenna Bourne pushed for answers after HUD told her earlier this week that there was no documentation of an inspection. HUD tells me that inspection was scheduled months before Monday morning's fire forced many tenants to spend four nights at this shelter at a nearby church. Today I got answers from HUD about why that inspection was postponed. The apartment has asbestos on it. The air quality test is th has failed. They were supposed to have that pump fixed on October 24th. They failed to do that. They, from what I understand, they failed to have a 24-hour uh, watch. It's been letdown after letdown for the 200 people displaced by this fire at Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments. And now Action News Jax has uncovered that HUD has not inspected the building since February 2014. The building was due for inspection this year, but HUD tells me inspectors decided to postpone it because management planned to renovate the building. Inspectors felt it would be more effective to inspect after renovation. And I think that they're owed uh, answers. On Thursday, our Action News Jax investigation uncovered that asbestos was discovered in the building during fire cleanup. Atlas Inspections and Construction Consulting owner Jim Kakuza tells me asbestos only becomes a health hazard when it's airborne. Under fire, these fibers are now becoming part of the smoke. A licensed asbestos abatement contractor tells me depending on the scope of the asbestos problem, it could cost management hundreds of thousands of dollars and take more than a year to clean up. Reporting, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax. The fire marshal tells Action News, Jax, that he is still investigating whether all of the fire alarms in the building went off during the fire. He tells us he went back to the apartment today, but no one from the management company was there to answer his questions. Tenants of the Jacksonville Townhouse Apartments tell Action News, Jax, they're frustrated. They say they just want to know when they can go home. Last night, we showed you this video of them leaving their temporary shelter for the Extended Stay America Hotel on Lenore Avenue in South Point. It was one of two motels displaced tenants stayed overnight. But today, a group of tenants staying at a Super 8 motel say they were kicked out because the high-rise management company didn't pay for a second night. They not once have lifted a finger to help me. The only help we got was from Jacksonville Fire and Rescue. It got me out of the building, and then I had been shuffled from, this is like third place, like I said now. Now I'm being told to leave here. Less than an hour after Action News Jax got involved, the management company told Pamela Sands, who's the w double amputee you see there, could head to Extended Stay America. We have continuing coverage on the fallout since the high-rise fire on ActionNewsJax.com and on our mobile app. We post a video of the fire, plus firefighters' efforts to get people out. You can also see our full investigation into the high-rise management company.